Okay guys, PD Tech here with a little video regarding the new CAA rules, visual line of sight of drones. And they've changed the rules yet again, which they seem to do every few weeks. And this time they've clarified the, um, the new rules state that you must be able to tell which orientation your drone is in at all times uh, visually. So not using your FPV camera view screen and not using navigation lights or strobe lights. So just by visually looking at your drone, you've got to tell which direction it's pointing in. So if you fly one of these little sub 250 gram drones, these little mini drones, like the DJI, Mavic Mini, Mini 2, Mini 3, etc., you're stuffed basically. You can probably fly it 75 to 100 meters or so. So I'm going to show you a little workaround, like a little loophole, where you still comply with the rules. You can still see the orientation of your drone, but you can fly a little bit further. So I'm going to climb here. It's around 25, 30 meters, maybe just a little bit over 30 meters. I know I'm going to clear the, uh, the viaduct there, up ahead. I know the height of that. So probably around 30, just over 30 meters, I think, at this point. And we're pointing towards the viaduct and we're just going to go full stick forward in a minute. So we're not going to put any yaw, or I'm not going to pitch the drone in any other direction except full stick forward so basically i'll know at all times that i'm looking at the back of my drone i can i've got a good visual line of sight at the moment i'm just going to go straight out straight over the viaduct which um which is totally abandoned by the way so this area is quite an open area i could probably see in all directions into the horizon by like three kilometers a good 360 degree view so any manned aircraft in this area i'm going to hear them well be you know before i see them so i've got good visual awareness of the area so we're just going full stick forward we're not putting any pitch left or right we're not doing any yaw or anything like that so at all times i can see the back of my drone i've still got a good visual line of sight of my drone probably coming up to about 200 meters at this point which is well beyond where the CAA sort of say that you can uh, fly your little mini drone now. So we're crossing the viaduct, making sure it's safe. We're a good height above it. There's nobody on it. And we're coming up to this little river here, which is probably about four or 500 meters. I can still see my drone really good. It's a little dot on the horizon. I can see it against the clear sky. I've got good visual awareness of it. And we're just going to come straight back. So all times I'm complying with the rules. I can see which orientation my drone is pointing away from me. I can see the back of my drone. And I'm just coming straight back. I know there's nothing behind me because I'm, I've not changed my altitude. So I know I'm going to clear the viaduct. I'm just going to go straight backwards. Not put any pitch or yaw into my drone. So basically I just went full stick forward and now full stick backwards. And I've basically complied with all the rules. I can tell the orientation of my drone. And I can see it visually uh, without using my fpv view or any navigation lights or anything so that's about the limit of these mini drones now so as you can see it's a little bit further than uh, what the caa are sort of suggesting which is like 75 to 100 meters at the moment with these little mini drones uh, even less if you'd fly the avata probably 30 meters at most i mean how far can you fly the avata and and still tell which way it's pointing that's an even smaller drone, a little bit more difficult. So this is the class of drone, the sub 250 gram. You don't even have to take the online Demares test. Um, you just have to read the manual and uh, get an operator ID basically. So now it's above me, I can yaw it around. I've got good visual from underneath it. I can see which way I'm pointing, you know, it's not so far away now. And we're going to do similar test in this direction over towards the wind turbine. So we're going to go f line it up. We're going to go full stick forward again. I'm just adjusting the position of the drone a little bit. So it lines up with me in the wind turbine, basically. So it's a nice straight line. I'm just going to go up a little bit, climb a little bit of altitude and full stick forward again. So all the time I've got a good visual line of sight of my drone. I'm not looking at the camera view. Um, I can see the orientation of it. It's the back of my drone I'm looking at. And it's pointing away from me. 
so I know which direction it's going in at all times. I know which way it's pointing without checking my camera view and without using navigation or strobe lights. So as far as I can see, I'm still complying with all the rules, but just going that little bit further than the, than what you're allowed really. So I'm just pitching the camera up and down there. That's not actually controlling the drone or anything. So you can look down at your screen briefly just to check. You know, you can visually check which way you're pointing, but apparently you're not allowed to use your camera view all the time and certainly not to uh, check the orientation. It's got to be a visual check, like oh, I can see the back of my drone or I can see the side of my drone, that kind of thing. So we're quite far over that field there, probably a good 200 metres or so. I'm just coming straight back. So I went straight out and then straight back. So all the times I know I can see the back of my drone. So that's about it. Hope um, that's been helpful for you. And uh, no doubt the CAA will introduce a load more stringent rules. I've been saying this from day one though. I knew they would do this. I knew that this is the safest class of drone as well. It's the, the lightest, the smallest. It enjoys the... Uh, the least stringent rules as well in regards to where you can fly. So you can fly this over uninvolved people. You can fly it over built up areas as well, residential areas. And it's just a shame they've done this to the range basically. Because before this, they did have a, a sort of a 500 meter limit on, you know, saying that that was the visual line of sight of a drone basically. But obviously it depends on the, the eyesight of the pilot, it depends on the size of the drone, it depends on the colour of the drone, it depends on the cloud cover, where the sun is in the sky, things like that. And it's it's not always black and white, you know, you can see your drone 500 metres away. Sometimes you can see it further, you know, if it was a little bit bigger or... Um, it depends on the colour of the drone, it depends on so many factors, you can't really say, oh, I can see my drone 500, mile, 500 metres away and that's it. It's such, um, such a lot of variables in it. So I hope that's helped you uh, get a little bit more than 75 to 100 meters which is basically what your mini drones are going to be limited to now well, which is a complete waste of time if the thing you want to fly over is two or three hundred meters away and you can't get any closer you know if you want to do an orbit of something that's 100 meters away and you want to do a 100 meet 100 meter diameter orbit you're talking about a flight of 200 meters which is technically not possible so i hope that's helped you out Please uh, like and subscribe. Take care. Fly safe. Bye-bye for now.